Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to create amazing landscape scenery in Photoshop. So let's begin our tutorial. First we are going to take a new document by using or clicking on file and then click on new. And you can select 3840. This one is ultra HD size. So I just select this one and just click on create. And your document is ready and now we are going to place some images in our blank document. So first we place surface image so i think this one is perfect for my surface so i select this one or select this one by this tool rectangle marker tool just select this one and simply drag and drop the image in your new document so you can see that the document is already placed just ad adjust the size of your document okay 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 just hold it and our next image is i think no this one is uh, our next image is this one so just use quick selection tool and select this one just resize the tool by using bracket key and simply select this one this one is the fastest process to select any thing in Photoshop so just I select this one and I is some extra images so you can see that I just it is some extra images and click on new document and simply place this one and go to edit transform and horizontal and this time I'm going with warp tool so select transform and warp I place this one I placed in perfect area for my document or artwork so I think this one is perfectly placed and and our next work is we just place a sky image so this one is our sky image and we are going to cut this one by using rectangle market tool simple drag and drop resize the image hold shift and simply stress this one and place this one behind your background image just zoom and we are going to delete this extra images so first we are going to take laser tool and we just apply this one and here it is okay then press delete key oh sorry I think I wrongly select a sky image just click on this mountain image and press delete key so you can see that the extra part is deleted and just select just click on select and deselect this one or you can also press ctrl D our next work we just apply some masking so take masking layer go to brush and resize the brush by using bracket key make opacity this time 50% or 35% and simply apply this one make foreground color black take soft press this time so this one is done and our next work we just erase also this area so just click on this one and just take mask layer Go to brush and apply this. So we can see that the realistic look also come out and we also adjust the color of this surface layer. So first take click on adjustment layer, go to curves and simply decrease the curves.
and our next work we just adjust the hue saturation so select this one just click on clipping mask and this time we decrease the saturation so the work is almost done and our next work we just take another image so this is our another image and this one is the picture of a uh, spacecraft so this one is placed and our next work we just adjust shadow so just take clip mask go to brush and simply apply this shadow and provide it realistic look the shadow is already provided so i am just it is unwanted areas so i think this one is perfectly placed and we just adjust the color of this spacecraft so go to color balance select clipping mask and adjust the color of this spacecraft i think this one is perfect and our next work we just add more image for this this model is perfect for my work so i'm just select this one by using subject selection because this one is the fastest tool to select anything in photoshop so just click on select go to subject and this one is automatically selected your subject So you can see that the subject is already selected and we are going to delete this unwanted parts of this subject. Our next work we just adjust the light of this surface image. So just click on exposure and decrease this one like that click on masking layer and just adjust the size of this brush and simply apply this one and uh, another work we just adjust this one also this mountain also so we just click on adjustment layer go to curves and clipping mass and adjust this one so this one is completed almost and our next work we just take this layer go to this time i am going with labels and and go to hue saturation where is hue saturation is this hue saturation or no, this one is the exposure this one is the hue saturation and decrease it like that and adjust the color of this area go to curves select this time red and decrease this one red so the work is almost completed and we are going to 
make little bit adjustment on this mountain area so first we are going to just color the mountain area by using blank tool clipping mask so go to blend mode and select linear dodge then select adjustment click on adjustment layer go to solid color and select the color of your mountain i think this one is perfect then press ok then select then click on the color layer and go to blending option and this time hold alt key and simply adjust this one so this one is almost completed i think this one is perfect for my work this color is so then click on layer go to brush make foreground color black because this one is white and first we are going to inverse this one just control i so inverted and this time we also invert uh, foreground color white and simply apply this this one is provide you the amazing shiny look do the same thing with another another object such like this one this one and this one so my friend our work is almost completed and we are going to give final touch so we just merge the complete layer into a uh, one layer so just hold shift control alt plus e so you can see that the whole layer is converted into uh, in one layer then just right click and go to uh, convert to a smart object the image is converted a smart object so just click on filter camera raw and adjust the color of your image so first we are going to adjust increase the saturation then increase contrast make little bit darker for exposure clarity shadow increase the shadow highlight area also increase and here is we just decrease the color of yellow color and also adjust the color of adjust the color orange and go to hue saturation highlighted area and simply adjust like this and increase the sharpness also and increase highlight light make darker little bit darker and increase the shadow then press okay so the work is completed hope you like this tutorial so see you soon with new tutorial goodbye